And that hit. It just sounded like a loud crash, like <clears throat> something banged up against the vehicle. I mean, like I said, I thought it was ice at first. Yeah, she thought it was just a chunk of ice at first, but this mother and her two kids were actually inches away from gunfire that came flying at their own car. It happened earlier this morning while the woman was headed to work with her children in tow. David McNally on how that gun went off and how close this family came to being in the line of fire. At this Peru gas station, two cars pulled up to the pumps at the same time. One on this side, one parked on that side. Definitely within shotgun range. Right here by the door handle, where some of them penetrated the truck a little bit. The truck Jennifer Stanley and her two kids, ages 6 and 14, were sitting in. And I was sitting right here, and then all I seen was this white stuff hit the window. And I, we just thought we got hit by a snowball. The gunshot went off, but we didn't know it was a gunshot at first. We just thought it was like ice or something falling off the top. And I got out to look to see if there was any damage to the top of my vehicle and came on around and I noticed the gunshot. The front passenger door riddled with pellets from a shotgun round. Luckily, they did not fly into the cab. I thought maybe somebody from across the street had shot a weapon for no reason. When she warned her son, she said we were being shot at. I thought we like a mania or something. So how in the world did it happen? Well, there were three men in the car on the other side of the gas pumps. The police say that one of the men in the back seat was moving things around, and they're just trying to make some extra room back there. He didn't know that there was a shotgun under some of that stuff, and when he pushed, it went off. Jennifer showed us this photo of the other car, a clean round hole with the shotgun round exited the back door, peppering her truck just a few feet away. Only a few pellets, though, scratched her glass. Two inches up, I would have been dead. Two inches left, we all would have been dead because it would have hit the gas pump. Jennifer is satisfied it was an accident and says the men in the other car were very apologetic. Nobody hurt. Like I said, I'm, I'm a firm believer in the Lord, and he was definitely with me, with me and my kids today. The police are still investigating. They'll turn over their results to the prosecutor. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.